Oh my god, the thing doesn't ring anymore. What the fuck? I don't know. Hangouts crashed for me. That was random as hell. No wonder I didn't notice. Like, the my thing doesn't ring. Like, at all. That's weird. Not even like, on your phone? Like, not at all. It doesn't ring at all anymore. That's weird. That, that's what I thought. I'm like, oh, okay. Hello, you have sudden video phone call you don't know about. <laughs> you have a lot of boxes behind you. Oh, that's just a pile. Okay, so... What is... Okay, for tomorrow? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, so the 29th. <clears throat> okay, so that's tomorrow, so that one's now. That one's at 7 p.m., so that one. Are there any tickets left, or is it, like, sold out? What? Okay. Oh, uh... Yeah. Oh, there. Now that one, like, in my ear. Mmm. Why? How was my password for this? What the fuck? What the fuck is my goddamn password? I don't fucking remember. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. I, I don't know. No, I'll just do it this way. I should make an account, but... I'm... Okay, so the first is... Yeah, okay, I can do that. Continue. But I'm... I'm... Highly considering buying tickets to uh, the Wednesday showing of Spirited Away. Oh. Do I really do I really want to do this? Probably. I'm kind of, I'm kind of iffy because it's it's a movie I already own, so it's kind of like, do I really want to spend twenty bucks to go see it in theaters again? I suppose that's a valid point. You know what? I mean, it is a big screen, though. Yeah, but it's 20 bucks. Uh-uh. I mean, like, I could definitely do it. I'm just kind of like... You have to go to the theater if you want to refund. They're not going to have anything to do with it. Eh, you know what? Fuck it. I'll skip it. For a new movie, I would definitely say... It's worth it, but for but for something like that, it's 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 money better spent other places. Mm. Now I'll I'll revisit it tomorrow too. Maybe I'll maybe I'll still do it. I don't know. I just Hello and welcome to the Super Happy Fun Jabbertron Tea Party Podcast with Kiki and Cupcake. So yeah, uh, I'm all consumed by Mario. You're all consumed by what? <laughs> Mario. <coughs> Excuse me. By Mario. Oh god, yes. Mario has been ridiculous. You and your owning current consoles. Mm hmm. <laughs> so ridiculous. I was oh. glad to see that I only missed you by like 10 minutes when you called me the first time. I was like, oh shit, when did she call me? And I like got it to show the timestamp. I'm like, okay, good, it's only been like 15 minutes. I, 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 I only noticed because I was freaking like, um, I was checking my phone and I like noticed the, the, uh, I noticed the icon flashing. I was like, oh, what's that? Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, I'm sorry that you thought that this was tomorrow and not today. I, I forgot you said it was today. I was like, 
I was like, why is she messaging me at this time of night? Normally she's off doing stuff, and I'm like, oh, yeah. That thing. But the stuff in the guy. That's uh You being that. the guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it took me like five worlds, but I finally got to the one that everybody keeps talking about, like from the trailers, where it's like the the city with like the people and with the realistically proportioned people. Yes, yes. <laughs> They're all like, "Ah, oh, Mario, just the hero we needed, to save the city." Yes. I I imagine you're enjoying it with its all consumingness. Yes, yes, I, I've been playing it since I got home at, like, 4.30. <laughs> oh, yeah! What? Grab that. I was really confused by it, because I thought it would be bigger, but hey, whatever. I got a package. Actually, I got another package, but I might send it back, because... Um, while I was high on pain medication due to my tonsillitis last week, I ordered some stuff I thought was dubbed, and it turned out it's all sub stuff, and I'm just kind of like, whoops. Uh, I don't know if I really want to. I'm kind of going back and forth. I haven't opened it yet, so I could still technically send it back. But. That came, that came today. Is this the, is... the movie or the TV show? This is the TV series. I think I missed the movie. I didn't even know it was out. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that was cool. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, Anohana. So pretty and so full of tears. Oh, great. What have I done? <laughs> it's a great show about friendship. And death. What? No. Well, life has death in it. Deal with it. Mm-hmm. Alright, I'll be right back. I want to see what the dog's barking about. Wuff, wuff, bow, wow. Transmission interrupted. Connecting transmission. So, what is Cupcake looking intently at? Uh, just looking through emails and stuff. Ah. Did I tell you that I don't have a stove? Yeah, you said they had to cap it? Yeah. So, PGE has this. PGE is our power electric gas company out here hence pg and e um has a rental efficiency program so they came out and replaced our lights and stuff but they did a co2 test on it and it did not pass twice Woof. so they had to cap it off and they're supposed to replace it, but they're taking their damn time about it. Oh, uh, What a shame. Other than the fact that the only other thing that happened here is that it's snowing. No. Like, been continuously snowing for a couple days. So, uh, yeah! Ho ho ho, Merry Christmas! It's fucking October. Happy fall! You get snow. Pretty much. <laughs> K 
can we have your snow? No, no, only the cold. The cats are here to destroy everything. Really, Anna? Yes. Just gonna knock everything down? It's just paper. It's not like he's knocking yeah. breakables. You're allowed to get away with that most because I don't want to get up. Huh. I'm not gonna go yelling at him for it. This he is fine. Oh my god. But yeah, life is pretty, pretty peaceful here. Not much going on, I hate to say. Mm, peaceful life is the best thing that could happen to anyone. Mm hmm. Well, I started watching the uh, Ancient Magnus ride. Oh, yeah? That was almost impossible for me to say. Wow. <laughs> and is it everything it was supposed to be? Yeah, it's all great. Um, yeah, I mean, there's only three episodes out right now, plus three OVAs. And you can only watch the first two episodes unless you're a Prime account. Or a premium account, not Prime. This is an Amazon. Oh, because Amazon would be much more money. Yeah, <laughs> much more. I wouldn't be watching shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I... There's gonna be... <clears throat> as everybody seems to be schisming into different... Uh, services... They're going to see a major drop in viewership and a major rise in uh, uh, piracy again. Yeah. The more paywalls you put up, the greater piracy will rise. You give us the tools to watch it legally and we will watch it. Even what is that at base strike? It's like, you have to have Prime, so that's $100 a mm -hmm. year. Plus, I think it's like what, like fifty a year? Yeah, you have to pay separately for it. I don't even remember how it prices out. I gotta look. I can't remember. Let's see. Strike. Okay, wait a minute. So now it says four four ninety nine a month. Huh? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, all right. So it's, it's, yeah, it is about it's about sixty bucks. Is what five times ten is fifty. Five times two is ten. Yeah. So it's 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 ten ninety nine a month for Prime or a hundred dollars a year, and then it's five dollars a month for Anime Strike or about sixty dollars a year. So it's a hundred and sixty dollars a year. To, that is a little ridiculous, given that it's all subtitled. Or I, I think most of the subtitles for the simul simul simulcast. Ah, 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 ah. They basically guaranteed I'm going to pirate because the second season of Murachan is on strike, and I'm I'm not paying that kind of money for a sub. Do not care. Is that where it went? Is that why we can't find it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, seven day free trial. Let me just give you my credit card information. Where's my autograph book? Well, actually, I'm logged into my account here and he has my credit card information. <laughs> Phone. Speaking of providers, did you hear that Sony is going to buy a, uh... They didn't. They weren't going to. They have officially bought yeah. automation. That happened yesterday? I want to say. Yeah. No, it happened. So that's a thing. They're claiming nothing will change, but I don't believe them for a minute. We'll see, though. We'll see. 
I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Like you said, we'll see. Where did I put the water? Where did I put the yeah. I'm hoping it's I'm hoping it's one of those deals where it's uh uh what would it say like they're they're trying to hit both sides of the uh the fandom by doing Funimation which is like mass market appeal and they already own Anaplex which is like the the high end collector. Well, I think it's official. We're boring adults. Yeah. <laughs> we, have fucking, we have nothing to fucking talk about. Oh my fucking god. Like, I'm looking for shit to fucking talk about. There's like literally nothing worse to talk about. What have you been doing, Cupcake? Uh, working, playing a little bit of Mario, a little anime here and there. And that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I fucking, I have nothing to talk about. I like literally, like, what the fuck happened to me? Like, we used to be able to go for like three, four hours. Now it's like 10 minutes in, I'm out. Fucking spent after 10 minutes. God damn it. <sighs> I'm fucking looking, I'm fucking looking at like, like anime news. Like, what can I talk about? There's nothing I give a shit about. They're like, oh, this this person got married, and and this person's got a got you know like a new manga coming out. I don't give a shit. Also, oh, I just hit myself in the balls. Oh, <laughs> I'm flailing my hands around the. Oh my god, the back of my knuckles hit my fucking balls. <laughs> oh my god, that hurts. Wow, I didn't expect that. Oh my god, that stings. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. That's like fucking reverberating through my fucking body. It hurts so much. Oh my god. I just fucking nut tapped myself. <laughs> oh, god damn it. You alright? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I just barely tapped myself, but it was enough that it was like, it's like, I, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it to somebody the opposite sex, but it's like this ringing pain. Like you just rang a bell and the vibrations are just going all the way through you. I, I, I contemplate on a semi-regular basis, the evolutionary advantage to having very sensitive genitalia. I, I understand why, but at the same time, it's like... If you get hit there, it's really gonna hurt. Not just kind of an owl hurt, but a, oh my god, I can't think, I'm seeing lightning bolts. I mean, I didn't hit myself hard. I just tapped myself. And I'm just like, I'm just seeing electricity. Just like, yeah! So, yeah. That's a thing. Ow. I think I did watch anime in between the last time we talked. Believe it or not. Oh, what? Actually, I think I watched quite a bit of anime, believe it or not. <laughs> I forgot to capitalize the C, that's hilarious. <laughs> what are you doing, Phantom? 
many things of a dark nature. Um, I feel like the last time we talked was like just starting, uh, Flying Witch. Yes, maybe. Because I finished that, and that was interesting. It's, in conclusion, it's a show about a fantastical world that we live in. And... Somebody with extraordinary powers trying to live normally with those extraordinary powers in mind. I think in 12 episodes they do magic like a grand total of like three times. High-end magic, yeah. Yeah. And the, the fortune teller is adorable. She's also a dog. That's why she's adorable. Dogs are adorable. <laughs> no question my logic. It's it's sound, pretty much. It was interesting it was interesting when uh her the main character's older sister started coming around more regularly. Which was kind of a weird twist, like she's like, Oh, I'm just stopping in to see how you're doing and then like every episode after that she was like sleeping in their living room. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't really matter because I can apparate anywhere in the world, so I just I just come here to hang out. Mm-hmm. If you can apparate anywhere in the world, why were you traveling across the freaking Sahara Desert? Because she can. Blink, blink, blink. What? I enjoyed how normal it all was. That was nice. when they talk about this being the same kind of series as uh, the area uh, franchise. I'm kind of I'm kind of happy and relieved that I invested in it now because seeing what this is like, I'm like I could do fifty episodes more of something like this. I don't think they're gonna make any more Flying Witch. No, Area has 50 episodes. Mm. Because they're doing the entire series. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not all coming at once, I I don't think. It says the estimated arrival date is September right now, but I I have no idea when it's actually going to make it. But it'll be cool. It's long since been paid for, so who cares? It gets here, it gets here. You'll eventually open it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't even remind me. My pile's disgusting. I think it's roughly 4x4x6 four by four by at this point. I mean, I had a week of vacation, and I still, like, I think I watched two series in that a week. It's bad. It's bad. I don't know. I, I liked Flying Witch. I, as far as blind buys go, it's it's a really pretty series. The colors are nice, which is a weird thing to say, but I really enjoyed like the color palette. It's very vibrant, but also very earthy, and it meshes well with the city. The, the not even cityscape, but like the the it's a city that she lives in, but it's not a city in the sense of like Tokyo is a city. It's it's a town. A city. It's a town. Thank you. I couldn't think of the word. It's a small city. It's a town. Come take it. Ah, oh, yes, a town. Exactly. <laughs> but it's it's laid back. It's it's very um, engaging in a really a really laid back way. I hate using that word repeatedly, but like it's. I don't want to say calming, because that's not really what they were... I don't feel like they were going for, but it's very calm in that it's it's ordinary... It's ordinary life minutiae being 
made interesting in the sense that you're seeing things from somebody who who's experiencing things fresh fresh experience wow that was broken english it's okay it's been a long day i woke up half an hour late for work so that was fun like just slept right through both alarms like the emergency alarm too just didn't even wake up for it i'm like what time is it oh shit i'm already 15 minutes late for work 15 minutes later i was at work i was like I'm sorry, I slipped through my alarms. It's okay, no worries, cupcake, it happens. I'm just like, I'm very stupid. Like, my emergency alarm didn't wake me up, so I don't know. I went to bed at a decent time, I just didn't wake up. But yeah, Flying Witch is definitely a recommendation for me. I was really, I was really pleasantly surprised. Like, I thought it was, I was pretty sure it was going to be good since you watched it before and had said that you liked it so i was like ah pretty safe but it was it was actually like it's it's in my it's in my list of recommended things like it's even if you're not into that it's worth at least giving it a try also it's very it's one of those ones that i would probably show to somebody who had never watched anime before it's just it, weird enough it, yeah there's not there's there's some cultural Japanese stuff, but not enough to like scare off somebody who isn't like super familiar. You could probably still maybe maybe second probably a better second or third series like once you've gotten acclimated, but definitely still it's still still worth it. Um, and then after that, I watched real. About high school, Samurai Girl, which was dubbed by Tokyo Pop. Uh, it is very much an early two thousands anime with very little substance. She's a kendo student, but like she she ends up fighting for the school has a deal where everybody everybody fights in like organized combat for funding for their club and she's fighting for the kendo club as the reigning champion from the previous year but she's like a I want to say a sophomore or a junior so that's interesting but it like goes off the rails very quickly with this really weird supernatural story about this other dimension full of monsters that she goes to every once in a while. She's also still fighting in, like, the school tournament for funding while doing this really weird, like, B story about this world full of monsters. Then there's this, like, C grade story about, like, this teacher and another guy who have been, like, rivals eternally and how, like, her becoming a swordsman is going to break this cycle of violence okay yeah this is all intertwined in the series i was just like at the end when it was all over i'm just kind of like this was unmitigated trash a rolling dumpster fire going down the highway <laughs> I mean, it's not so bad; it's unwatchable, but it it's it's not well written at all. It is a mess. They would have been better to focus on one of the stories and make the others kind of background. I don't want to say noise because that's not what I would call it, but like background information. Instead, they like every couple episodes they would focus on one of like two or three stories that were ongoing it was just like this stuff's all going on concurrently like it's not like they dropped back to like the history of the two teachers it was just like that shit was going on inside of the episodes like it's like an episode of future rumble where there's like an a story and a b story and this shit's going on concurrently it's just like you guys would have been better off to just like tone it back but i think they were I feel like they were condensing like 20 volumes of, of manga into like 
12 episodes. Mm. Um, yeah, that's about as much as I remember about that show because it was so bad that my mind almost immediately tried to blank it out. I also watched the Ray Earth OVAs. Now, mind you, I also own the TV series, like the remastered TV series on Blu-ray. I haven't watched that yet, but I for six dollars at a half price books like six months ago, I found the OVAs, which are bad, and I do mean bad. They're pretty, but they're bad. I have no idea what the fuck was going on in the story. Why are you laughing? I feel like you know what you you have something to say about this. I just remember them being pretty. <laughs> You Big eyes, getting... flowy hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like no, all three girls and their and their uniforms are like something straight out of a nunnery. Like fucking full body, like ankle to wrist, fucking covered. And I'm just like, well, that's a thing because the bad guys are dressed like fucking combat strippers. But not, not them. No, no, no. They're just like fucking nuns. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm not complaining, but it's like, it's like you're sending mixed messages here. It's almost like heroes don't have to wear bikinis, but then you make the bad guys wear bikinis just because, fuck it, they're lady bad guys. And like, them being in bikinis isn't like an actual thing. It's just like something that's going on like, it's not a part of their character that they, like, want to wear bikinis. They're just wearing bikinis. Fuck you. Like, it's never explained. It's never talked about. They're just wearing bikinis. Well, the guys, the bad guys, guy dudes, they're in full fucking, like, plate mail with big-ass long swords. What the fuck? Like, I'm not saying, like, equal opportunity or anything, but, like, the women walk around in fucking... Band-aids and paper clips, but the dudes, no, the dudes are in full fucking regalia, fucking helmets and armor and fucking weapons. Not the girls, fuck that shit. Except for the heroes. No, the heroes, they've got fucking magic bracelets or some shit, and they're wearing fucking nuns' fucking clothes. It's just like, what the shit am I watching? And for some reason, the bad guy wants to consume the earth so he can like rebirth the ultimate evil but that's never really explained he just kind of is doing it and then they like they 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 uh they have like their giant mech that they form from the spirits of the earth wind water and fire it's like fucking captain planet the power is yours <laughs> i think that's the most animated I've been in months. <laughs> Needless to say, that was a bad, bad, like, it's not even that, like, it's bad in the sense that it's badly written, like, the writing isn't half bad, but nothing is explained. It's like, it's like it was supposed to be a 26 episode anime, and they just squished it into three 45 minute OVAs. Which is pretty much what I think what they did, because the TV series is like 52 episodes, I want to say. As he checks. I gotta look. I don't even know where it is in the pile anymore, dead honest. Everybody's yelling at me now. Cupcake. Watch shit before you buy more. Okay, sorry. Didn't you just buy more? Shut up. I'm not doing this on purpose. Okay, maybe I am. Don't judge me. I I have a problem. I'm trying to learn to deal with it. I'm trying to learn to deal with it by buying more shit so I can bury my sorrows. Well, it's not in that pile. I think I'll check pile number two of six.
and for some reason I own I own the original versions of the Sailor Moon movies. Fuck it, whatever. Might as well have both. Because why not? I own the Love Live movie? Jesus, I'm never gonna find that. <laughs> Damn a cupcake. Bodacious Space Pirates, the complete series. I don't remember buying this. And apparently I must have thought it was worth the money because I also bought Bodacious Space Pirates Abyss of Hyperspace. Uh, Whatever. Okay. I own. Okay, I have an entire stack. I don't even remember buying. This is a little scary. I bought a copy of Popotan and a copy of Digi Charat. Eh, fuck it. Yumeria, Canadango, Orgus. Jesus, what the fuck, Mike? Okay, found it. 49 episodes. Wait, what the fuck? Okay. Somebody's playing a mean trick on me. Because apparently I bought Outlaw Star, the Ultimate Limited Edition. Like, what the f Fuck! hell is this? Space <laughs> Patrol Luluco? <laughs> what? <laughs> you, look like a, you look like a villain who just realized that they've conquered the world. <sighs> what? <sighs> Ugh. Ah, yes, back in the position. Try not to hit my nuts this time. <laughs> oh. I need anime watching buddies, you know what? That's, that, that's the reality I've come to. start setting aside time on the weekends I'm off. See how far I can get. I'm sorry we live so many time zones away. Oh my god, can you imagine if we lived within driving distance of each other? Like, Dude. like realistic driving distance? Dude. There, there would just be there would just be this like there's just this scene in my mind of me, like, bursting through the door like Kramer from Seinfeld with, like, a fucking, you know, like, sea chest on my back full of anime DVDs. What, what scares me is the fact that I have an entire pile over there that I don't even remember the shit being there. Like, I, I'm aware that it's there, like, I see it, but, like, a lot of the spines are, are turned in a way that I don't see it regularly, and I'm just like, where did I get this shit? What? There's a, there's a, <clears throat> in the pile I can see, there's at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, in the two small piles, eight Ultimate Collector's Editions. Like, uber premium editions. 
What the fuck? You just had to get those premium editions. Shut up, I am not a collector whore. I mean, okay, I am a collector whore, but I don't mean for it to be that way. I just can't say no. What the hell did you buy recently? Uh, Anohana, the flowers we saw that day. That's the newest. Also, Chiharafaru, I can see. Something Legacy of a Something Female Knight. Fruits Basket Sweet 16 Edition. Madoka Magica. Death and Rebirth Collection? No. What's well, the first and second movie, whatever that is? I don't remember anymore. I know Rebellion is the third one. I think I'm probably going to have to give up on Pretty Sami. Yeah? Just can't do it? No. At least not in the current time frame. Not time frame. Brain frame. I hear you. Probably gonna try to watch Anime Gratis instead, or Gotaris, or however the fuck you say that. It's one of them what? their new animes. Hey, hey, okay. Chick joins Anime Club style anime. Let's see if I can tolerate that. It's already God got a speed. dub cast, for fuck's sake. I'm not shocked. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see, what else did I watch? I watched And You Thought There's Never a Girl Online, which was really kind of good. With a title like that. Yes. Okay. So, dude plays MMO every night after his, like, schoolwork and shit is done. He plays it with two dudes. Like, his guild is made up of two dudes and a girl. And the girl looks like an idol. Like, really pink and white lace costume with, like, magical girl staff. He's, like, you know, knight and, like, one of the other guys a knight and, like, their guild masters like a dude in a really skimpy looking summoner's outfit. Which I thought was kind of hilarious. And the show can be summed up as when the guy was a freshman in high school, he's now a sophomore or junior, I don't remember which, he asked a girl character in the game to marry him and the character told him it was a, like a cat girl told him ha jokes on you I'm actually a 45 year old male salaryman and so he has this whole thing about how there are no girls on the internet there are only dudes dudes pretending to be girls and so the the female idol character kept asking him to marry her in game and after like the 10th time he was just like fine okay whatever i don't care great he married her in the game and it comes to about 10 minutes into the first episode and they're sitting around the whole guild sitting around the, the table at the tavern in the game and he's talking about it. They're talking about their relationship. He's like, I don't care if you're a guy. It, it doesn't matter. It's whatever. Um, You know, uh, you're a good person. And that's all that really matters to me. We're friends, whatever. Who cares? And the guild master goes, well, you know what? 
we've never actually met in real life. So maybe we should have a real life meetup. Okay, fine, whatever, let's do it. And so they all agree that on the next Saturday, they're going to meet at the, like the train station, in front of the train station. So he does. It's the first one there. Sends the message to his other three guildmates. I'm here, I'm under the big oak tree, in front of the train station, wearing a blue checkered shirt. And he gets poked in the back. And he turns around. And he sees a super pretty girl with big titties. She tells him that she's his wife. Cut to series. All right. So what he basically finds out is that there's always a girl on the internet. You just have to look in the right places. <laughs> Cue okay. wacky hijinks. I surprisingly really like the show a lot, despite it being kind of a silly premise. And that the guy is kind of aloof about the 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 main girl who he quote unquote married and her and like how they both grow from knowing each other. Oh, and then you find out that they go to the same school. So then there's this whole, there's this whole shenanigans throughout the series about them basically interacting with each other in school and like the separation between the game and the, and their real life at school and blah, blah, blah and, and festivals and, and beach episode camping episode and you know obligatory end of series tension episode that doesn't really go anywhere but fuck it we gotta have one of those because you can't just have the series be you know fun and games the entire time there's gotta be some sort of tension because fuck it that's that's how every tv series is written even if it's fucking like some stupid shit about fucking you know brewing tea there's gonna be a fucking episode that gets like super high tension and has to be resolved and it gets resolved and then there's the episode after that that's the really bad OVA and all the girls are naked and the guys are perverts even though they weren't in the original series fuck it we've got to sell DVDs <laughs> so we're gonna do it do it fucking live hey look at that girl's titties look at her bounce hey did she just knock her boyfriend out with those titties I think she did uh, fuck it whatever <laughs> I don't even know what show I'm referencing, but that's happened at least a couple times where it's like the show is, has like no fan service throughout the entire show in the bonus episode. It's like, hey, everybody's getting naked. Fuck it. Yep. Bonus episode. Let's get them tropes on. And then finally, the one I just finished, like what, a couple days ago was the Gashi Kashi, which is the one about, like, penny candy in Japan. Yeah. And that one was really good, actually. Oh, I mean, I liked it. It was weird watching a show with a female main character that is oddly sexualized, while not like, well, her character not actually being very sexual. Okay. Like, she's a weird, she's a weirdly fetishized person in that world. Like, the dudes, the couple main dude main characters are, like, constantly talking about her, interacting with her, thinking about her, but, like, she's not actively like being like her whole deal is that she's the daughter of, of a of a dude that like runs the biggest like candy company in Japan and she's like really really into candy and she talks about it nonstop. But your cat's going into your cupboard for some reason, but hey whatever.
Your cat just like never gets sick of like pulling shit out. Oh no, never mind. He's going in. Yeah, the other you one likes to pull stuff out. I like literally see the tail slowly slinking inside. That's hilarious. Hope you're happy in there, Phantom. With my shorts. But yeah, uh, I liked it a lot. Like, at first I wasn't really sure what to make of the show, and then, like, the more I watched it, like, the more it grew on me. Well, that's good. Mm Mm-hmm. It was really interesting in that, like, while, while the main character dude, like, talked about the the candy girl like it it like it didn't start out really like overtly like interest it was just kind of like she's a weirdo that comes to my to my place and then like later it started to like he started to have not even feelings but just interest and it was only 12 episodes so it never really went anywhere but it was definitely like a lot of faffing about Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think that's about as far as I've gotten with anime lately. I did not get very far in anime watching. I don't blame you. Oh, that's right. Crunchyroll has Lucky Store now. Mm-hmm. Did you see the details for Pocket Camp? For Project what? Pocket Camp? No, what's that all about? The Animal Crossing mobile game? Oh, 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 oh gotcha, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, I, I, I see that it's coming, like, next month. Yeah, looking forward to that. Taking all my money. Every version yeah. does. Pretty much. Well, it being on a it or say it going on a on phones is going to really cause it to explode. I think because definitely a much more accessible format. You have a little over an hour if you want to call it there. I just don't know what to talk about. I'm sorry. It's all right. Yeah, being let's go ahead and call it to eleven. I've got work at six. Oh my god, Blake. <laughs> Bye. Thank you once again for listening to the Super Happy Fun Jabatron Tea Party Podcast with Kiki and Cupcake. I hope you all get raging cavities this Halloween. Farewell, my fellow internet beings. Good night, Cupcake. Good night, Kiki. Transmission terminated.